all right we are back with some more sort of online information and today we learned that there's gonna be a brand new gacha game coming this year to celebrate the 10 year anniversary and when basically memory defrag shut down i did say something like this that you know um that usually when a game shuts down it just means that there's another game in the works and um yeah it happened so it seems like they've been working on this game since that game shut down or maybe even before but it, this is gonna be the trailer I, I can't show it because you know copyright stuff but if you want to check it out i basically retweeted it i'm pretty sure you can find this anywhere on youtube on uh, twitter and all that but uh this looks very interesting the trailer looks very good the animations in here look very top tier as well at least for like the cutscenes but uh from this we don't really know how the game's gonna work it's gonna be like a turn-based rpg game like it is unleashed plating if it's gonna be more hands-down like memory defrag was or if it's even gonna be an open world like what integral factor is but um definitely uh this is gonna be very interesting because in here the teaser trailer it did show off that we're gonna get another exclusive character in this game just like how 80s is just such such as how i can speak such as how Kohaku is for integral factor um i believe it was like around here yes so uh here we're gonna see like boom right here an exclusive character we don't even get to see their face but we know they have like sort of white hair so they have sort of like white hair uh the, the uh outfit is more like a it seems it resembles more like a yuki type of character and uh she re he uh, focuses more on daggers sort of like what kohaku works with and uh, what philia works with but it looks like she has two of them so this is gonna be a very interesting character as you guys can see like it's like a purplish dagger and um the game is called uh what was it called um it's called a uh, sora online variant showdown so the name is very interesting Right? Does it mean like they're gonna face other versions of themselves or something like that? Uh, very interesting. We saw Poe here in the trailer. He's about obviously gonna be like very important to the story. And uh, the, like I said earlier, this game is gonna come out in the late 2022, most likely around November 6th, because that's when like you know in the anime the game was released November 6th. So they're probably gonna aim for like somewhere around November December era. And uh, we'll definitely be making videos on this. When more information comes out, I'll definitely try to make more videos on this. Um, but um, yeah, like if you want, also want to stay up to date with this, you can actually go on Twitter and uh, follow Sao Versus Underscore Game Info, and it says that they're going to be basically giving out the latest information on the app. Uh, you can also check out their website, and then. Um, it says that you can pre-register is being accepted right now so you want to be on top of this game you can go pre-register right now for the jp version and uh you'll be ready to go but yeah very quick video uh no brand new gacha game around the corner uh what does this mean for the other games uh who really knows but definitely um having more got more games for the ip is gonna be very helpful especially with like the progressive movie coming out th later this year uh, they probably have more projects going down the road right like they announced like another 10 years of the basically novels and stuff like that so in terms of content they they're gonna have lots of content there so this game it really depends on how this game works and if it works differently from like the um, more recent games right um definitely something i want to see in this with this game is memory defrag style where it's like more hands-on, more uh, strategic. Because right now, Unleashed Blading is more of a like hands-off game. Like you don't really need to focus on it. Uh, you can just like you know play it from time to time, leave it there, grind it by itself. Um, to go factor is more of a hands-on, right? Open world, sort of like Genshin. And so this, if this game is different from that, this will definitely bring in a lot of players, especially from like the memory defrag era. So yeah. Let me know down below what you think about this game. Are you going to try it out when it first comes out? Um, 
it seems like it's only going to be for the JP version for now. But I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we get a global version aside from this. Maybe like three months later or even at release, right? So yeah, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go under, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep up with this and give you all the latest news possible. And uh, we're definitely going to be playing this game when it comes out. I'm going to see if they have like a beta as well. Most likely they will. Um, or maybe not because they already have your station. But we'll see, we'll see. Other than that, let me know down in your comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.